so I hope the lighting's a bit better today because I got myself a new light so I'm hoping that the quality is a little bit better but I don't know we'll see once I'm editing so today is Valentine's Day so I'm getting ready to go out for a meal which is so exciting but I don't actually know where I'm going because my boyfriend was like be ready for half seven but I'm not going to tell you where we're going so I'm I, I've got a I've got a good guess but obviously I don't have a clue so I thought I would get ready with you guys show you what I'm wearing and show you the restaurant that we're going to when I finally find out so he got me this really cute Bow Avenue bralette for Valentine's Day, which matches my new nails, which I got yesterday. How cute are they? Little cherries and bows on them, absolutely obsessed. I don't usually get acrylics, but every now and again, I'm like, yeah, treat myself. Treat myself to acrylics. So yes, they're my little Valentine's Day nails. Um, also got some chocolates and some flowers. So yeah, and a meal, so I'm very lucky. So today I'm just gonna go and do my makeup actually. I probably need to hurry up um, because I don't wanna be late. So I've all the, already curled my hair. I normally do that after my makeup, but for the purpose of this, I thought I'd get that out of the way because that is the longest thing to do. So I've already prepped my skin and everything. So just go in with my flawless filter so I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit more about me because I feel like I haven't really you know really said much um and what I'm up to at the moment and what I do generally day to day so I am currently at uni I'm in my second year and I'm studying nutrition so I did take a gap year because when I finished my A-levels I started uni but I didn't like the course I was doing when I went in September so I did I was doing medicinal and pharmaceutical chemistry because I liked chemistry at A-level and that's what I thought I really wanted to do um, but anyway got to uni and really didn't enjoy it so I made a difficult decision to leave and then took a gap year and then I reapplied to a different uni and I'm now doing nutrition which at the time when I had to leave the other university it was like such a really difficult decision because I didn't want to leave because I made such really nice friends but I feel like everything works out in the end and you know I've made some incredible friends at this uni and I would never have met them if I hadn't have taken a gap year. So, you know, you've just got to see the good things in the bad sometimes. Um, so I don't know what I want to do after uni. Like, is nutrition something I want to do? Potentially, but there are other like career paths I would love to, you know, try. Because I think at the moment I'm really loving skincare and makeup and all like the social media side of things. So is that something I want to get into? Probably. But equally, I don't know. I think it, obviously if I come out with a nutrition degree, then it will give me that option if I do decide to do that. Because um, I would love to go into like pregnancy nutrition because I went into the nutrition course thinking I wanted to do sports nutrition and then I was like absolutely not um it just didn't I don't know we did a bit on it and I was like no this isn't for me but at the moment we're doing all about like lifespan nutrition pregnancy um so and it seems really really interesting like I am fully invested in those lectures <laughs> so maybe that's something I'll go into or dog nutrition because I do love dogs so maybe that's something I need to consider so I was actually a rower for about seven years so started when I was 13 or 14 and then I 
have only recently decided to leave the sport, which was a very, very difficult decision because it was my life for all those years. Because, um, you know, like any good sport, well, any sport that you do to a high level, you have to put 100% commitment into it. So I basically did that <laughs> for seven years um obviously not through covid and stuff but i finally made it onto my dream team um a team that i well was the dream from the beginning really and i never thought i would do it and i had the opportunity and i took it but it just wasn't for me it just <laughs> it was such a shame because i was so happy like i think i cried when I got asked to like race for them and I'd stayed at it you know oh, but the training was so intense it was yeah I basically ate went to sleep did my uni work and rode and that was my life which you know at the time was an amazing experience but I just decided that it wasn't for me anymore and I just needed to close that chapter and move on but I think that going from having something as your hobby for so many years to then having all this free time I was really struggling actually and I think it needs to be spoken about more that when you I don't know just that whole topic of like having done a sport for years and years and years and years and years and then deciding it's not for you and then you know changing you know what your hobby is I think it's actually it's a lot harder um, than I was expecting because it was a difficult decision to make and then after it like properly sank in that it was a a chapter that needed to be closed but it was hard to accept if that makes sense but now I'm feeling a lot better for it and I can see it's like a positive thing that I did that in my teens and now I'm in my 20s I'm gonna put my focus somewhere else so that's why I'm doing YouTube and Instagram and want to start TikTok as well because I just love being creative and that's what I've always naturally been good at. So why on earth I thought I'd be doing a chemistry degree, I do not know. <laughs> Wishful thinking, I think. I am excited to start my new chapter, my new, well, I mean, so I'm 20, I'm, we'll be 21 in the summer, so I can't believe I'm nearly 21. I think back to my 18th birthday party and I'm like, how was that nearly three years ago? Like, and then I saw this TikTok and it was like, next month it's officially four years since lockdown. I'm like, four years? <laughs> That's just mental. So I've just done my eyebrows and mascara off camera because they're a little bit more, I need to get like closer up to the mirror. Um. So yeah, so, as you all know, I absolutely love animals because I think I've mentioned that before. And I have a little chihuahua at home that lives with my mum and dad. And she's so cute. So I will get her on here when I'm back home because she's just the sweetest little thing. And I feel like it's so annoying. Chihuahuas get such a bad reputation. Like whenever I tell someone I have a chihuahua, they're like, ugh little rat and I'm like please like come on you haven't met her and then I feel like when people meet Jessie they're like oh she is actually really cute and I'm like see I told you she's my dog of course she's gonna be cute like I don't know they just feel so like obviously they're a very small dog they have a big big attitude like that is true like they are very you know sassy at times especially because like, we had a little a little boy called Alfie and he was no longer with us but he was very you know he was tiny 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 but he had a massive personality and I think people just think that they're so small and you know they're not proper dogs and I'm like oh but they have such a lovely personality and they're just so funny like I could just watch them for days, but just animals in general. Um, 
very fond of. I would love to like the dream would be when I get older and have a house if I have the money I'd love to have chickens and pigs and alpacas and just a little small holding because I just love being outside and I just feel like I don't know just love it but also oh I've got something exciting I'm actually taking an alpaca for a walk on Saturday I know that sounds really really bizarre but <laughs> I will literally, I just love alpacas. They're just so, they're just so cute and fluffy. And I was like, if I want to, I'm going to take one for a walk. So yeah. <laughs> so tonight I think I'm going to wear a dress, probably the same dress that I wore to Victor's a couple of weeks ago that I showed on one of my videos, just because it's really nice, very flattering. And I just feel really like lovely in it. So that's what I'll probably wear. I don't know if I'm going to wear heels yet or just trainers. Haven't decided. Obviously, I don't know where we're going. So I'm like, do I need to wear heels or, do I, or can I get away with trainers? Like, obviously, smart trainers. But just so, because I know we have to walk. Well, it's in town. So a little bit of walking, but not too much. So I need to ask him, actually, what footwear I should wear and what would be appropriate. And also, shall I go for a red lip or a nude lip? Because I know I said in one of my other vlogs that I'm not a red lip kind of person, but I did wear one the other day and I was like, mm, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna be converted to a red lip. So I'll just go and decide and then I'll let you know. So we've gone for a red lip. Let me know what you think. It's not really me, but why the hell not? It's Valentine's Day. Let's just go all out, so curled my hair before. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I feel like it needs a little bit more oomph in the top. I just, I love my hair up. I think that's the issue. And just like when I put it like this, it looks so nice. But then if you actually put it in a bobble like this, it just doesn't look as good. So I'm like, now it just looks flat on the top. So I might need to do a little back combing, but unless I just do it to the side. I don't know. I'll figure something out, but I do need to rush because I'm going to be late. Okay, so I'm finally getting there. So this is the Oak Poly dress with the open back, which is very lovely. Then I've got my earrings in, my rings and my watch. So I'm going to take this bag just to match the lip, which we love colour coordination. And then uh, I think I'm going to put this on, the Nest Wisteria Blue Perfume. Never tried it before. Oh, that's nice. Gives me like, <laughs> I know it's making a funny noise. It gives me like Dior vibes, like um, J'adore Dior. That's what it's giving me. So yeah, just shoes, jacket, and then I think we're ready. So I'm so excited. I just want to know though what we're what we're eating because I'm so hungry. But I just don't know what to do with my hair. Like I way prefer it up. Let me know what you think. I don't know what to because I just spent ages curling it, but I just don't oh I just not vibe it unless we did like two little front sections and then the rest of it up like this. I don't know. <laughs> I will have the hair problem dilemma. I'll sort that out and then I will take you along with me to the restaurant. So it will be a surprise for us both. <laughs> so we are in Gusto. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> and uh, decided to have the hair down. Um, I was tempted to put it up, but I ordered the crab fettuccine and ordered the carbonara looks lovely so I'll let you know I've also got some Prosecco so I'm actually loving the red lip in here I feel like it's very goes with the vibe so very excited to tuck in hope you can hear me it's a little bit noisy hi everyone we are now back 
and we went to Gusto, which is a really lovely Italian. I, we, we've never been before, so it was such a lovely surprise. The food was amazing, very, very good, and I had Prosecco and some Rosé, so I'm a little bit... <laughs> I mean, I don't drink, so I'm like the biggest lightweight in the world. Um, and then for dessert, we shared these like Biscoff and chocolate dough ball things, which were so lovely. So yeah, I feel like it's gone so fast, but I'll probably just get ready for bed, watch some TV, and then I haven't got uni tomorrow, so I can have a lie in, which will be very, very nice. So I hope you've all had a lovely Valentine's Day whatever you are doing, if you are celebrating with the girls, with the guys, with your partner, you know, just I hope you've had a lovely day. So I'll see you on my next video. Bye!